Um, I think that the thing you need to have before you do anything is you need to know that you enjoy it. I think that's just, it's so simple, but like you do need to know that. Um, because a lot of times I think we start ahead of that moment and we start with the critical uh, portion where it's like, oh, I don't see how that could happen or I don't see how it could be more than just a hobby. Um, but you need to back it up and just say, do I love doing this or how do I feel when I'm doing this? Um, and, and know that that's a good thing if you know that. Like if you found that thing that you're like, I just love it. I don't really have a reason for it, but I like to do it. I think that's the starting point. You really need to like um, look in the mirror and, and, and know that that's a really cool thing you've found um, just go through going through life. And then everything, everything else can come after that. So it's important. Um, I found that it's so, at least for me, it's so easy to start after that and, and uh, kind of walk yourself down off of betting on yourself, doing something that you love uh, just because you can't figure out the, the ladder that you're going to take to make it happen. Um, so yeah, once you know that, uh, Hey, I enjoy this thing and I'm passionate about it. It makes me feel ways that I don't feel when I'm just vegging out in front of the TV or working a nine to five or whatever. Uh, and don't get, don't get me wrong. There's like this fallacy, I think where, uh, especially like in the creative sector, uh, especially if you're working for yourself, that, um, it's not a nine to five and thus, you know, you've have, you have all this free time while it's not a nine to five, meaning that you don't work for someone and clock in at nine and then leave at five. Uh, you generally have to work more than nine to five. I think people don't, don't look at it like that, but any kind of entrepreneurship, especially in the creative realm, you have to find ways to get the work done and get it out. Um, and so all the more reason of why you should definitely know with certainty and conviction that this is something you're passionate about because it is going to take a lot of work. Sometimes it's going to take work that removes you from your social uh, environment because you got to get the work done. And then sometimes it's going to be uh, scary because you're doing things you've never done before or you're working in spheres you've never been before. So it's nice to have that kind of reminder in your, in your soul that this is because this feeds your soul. This is why we're doing this at the end of the day. And so... That's the, that's the most important part, at least in the beginning. And then for me, and I'm, I can only speak from my perspective, but I think that um, um, I, I always needed like, if I could see other people doing it, it was so beneficial to me. Other people uh, can just figure it out. And I, I've certainly taught myself things before as well, but it just was way quicker if, if I could just see other people doing it. So my my advice to myself would be, get around those people that are doing what you want to do and make that a habit of being around those people uh, because more will wash over you than you realize. And, uh, and that includes your belief system in what is possible. So if you wanted to pursue the gallery game of art, which a lot of people would say is very political, but honestly, everything is subjective as far as art goes. People like Marvel movies. People hate Marvel movies. Uh, it is what it is. Um, you're doing this for you at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, my thing is get around people that are doing similar, if not the same thing as you. Um, mimic them, copy them, or better yet, reach out to them, have lunch with them. Uh, Did like, you say chase them down for chase tacos them down. for six weeks? Is that what you said? Is that what I, I, know, like, well, I like, walked right into that. Yeah. Uh, just real quick uh, tangent real quick. Um, that's actually how I met James. That's why he's laughing right now. Um, I, uh, I liked his work on Instagram. I, was, I had made a decision that uh, I was trying to bring myself in front of people that, I, that my current jobs were not, which is uh, other people doing photography. Uh, a photographer is going to find his way to uh, makeup artists, models especially, but other photographers, I don't know, sometimes it can seem kind of gated or people are siloed off by themselves. I don't know if that's uh, just because the nature of the work doesn't bring you around them or what. But I just wanted to meet more photographers because I feel like they they come from different angles and it's it's always something to learn. So, yeah, I, I hunted James down. I tried to get lunch with him for forever. Uh, I sure, I'm sure I seemed like some kind of wacko uh, being how persistent I was. But I think after about six months, I did... I did manage to get a, okay, fine, well, let's go get some tacos then, uh, uh, you weirdo. And, uh, and it, was a, it was a really great 
uh, time because um, it doesn't have to go this way, but it, uh, it just so happened that we clicked on a lot of the same ideas um, and it was just kind of effortless as far as conversation. So became fast friends and uh, continue to learn from each other. So that's, uh, that's a fun little story. But yeah, I don't know if I answered your question, but uh, I think that you should know that you're passionate about it and know that that's a great thing to find. And then I would say surround yourself with people doing similar things so you can get find out what the ladders look like that you're trying to climb.